Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got done with um, a huge project that I had for the end of my semester. Um, I am in school. I have one semester left after this, so I'm almost graduated. I'm a communication major with a certificate in public relations. I just wanted to like tell my whole school journey story. So I started school when I was 18 at the University of Tampa, I was a writing major. I was there for a year and a half, so three semesters. I loved that school. Really small school, really beautiful. There was a pool there. It was right by the beach. It was just in downtown Tampa, so it was gorgeous. It was on the river. I didn't make that many friends because I secluded myself to hang out with my ex-boyfriend all the time. <laughs> But I did make some good friends there who I still love to this day. Um, one of my best friends, Anthony, I actually met at that school. So I was a writing major in my first semester of my sophomore year. I dropped out due to personal reasons. Maybe that'll make it on YouTube one day. It won't. I moved back to Cincinnati. I moved back in with my parents. And for one semester, I was taking a few classes at a community college, Miami Hamilton, and I literally was like having anxiety attacks every day going to school, just like passing out, literally fainting on the way to school, not necessarily nervous about school. I was just depressed. It was a whole weird time. So then I dropped every class except for two of my classes. I had a theater class and then I was in a, I think it was just interpersonal communication class. And I kept those two, but then my theater teacher emailed me and was like, you can't stay in this class, you never come. Like even if you came every day and got 100 for the rest of the semester, like you fail. So drop that. My um, interpersonal communication teacher was so, so nice. She helped me catch up. She was very sweet to me. She could definitely tell something was going on. I ended up passing that class. It was fine. That's actually not true. After that, I realized I don't want to be in school. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm depressed. I need to get my shit together. So I dropped out completely. And I'd say for two and a half years, I was just coasting it. I was just working, and I had a couple of different jobs at that time. I was a server, full-time server at one point at a casino. I was a transaction coordinator for a retail group. I, what else did I do? I literally, everything's a blur. But anywho, so by the time I was ready to get back into school, I had already taken a much needed break. I was a completely different person. I was healed emotionally. Everything was Gucci. So I enrolled at University of Cincinnati. I went to the branch campus for the first two years, I think, which was incredible. I met some friends there as well. I've honestly had nothing but kind professors at University of Cincinnati. Some of them, their classes suck, but nonetheless, they're very kind. I do have one more semester left. I'm in four classes, which is kind of crazy because I usually only do two at a time. So that might be a little difficult. However, one of my classes is literally called Animated Disney Musicals. Seems like a class that I could write. I just want to say to anyone who doesn't know what they're doing or their parents are pressuring them to pick a major or to stay in school, if I didn't take those years for my mental health and to really develop who I was as a person. I never would have gotten my radio job. I never would have been a DJ. I never would enjoy school. It really gave me a new enjoyment. So taking that time off really, really saved my life to say the least. And I'm very grateful that my parents were supportive in my decisions. Going to school right away and getting the four-year degree is not only just not as important as your simple mental health, but also it's just sometimes unrealistic. I know so many people that did not graduate in four years. I would say the majority of my friends did not graduate in four years. But I mean, my best friend already completed grad school before I finished undergrad. My sister finished undergrad, has a full-time job. Like, it's just all relative. We're all on different journeys. If you're a parent listening, let your kid take a break, let your kid explore who they are and think about it like no one knows who they are right outside of high school and sometimes they go through shit and they need time to process and to grow which is what i did and i'm so so grateful for that time while it does 
suck sometimes being in class with like 18 year olds. I'm always reminded that everything that I did in those years that I was not in school made me who I am. Cheers, I'm also always on the Dean's list because I'm so smart.